now you, we have to understand the basic problems associated with the QPSK because uh, in connection with the analysis we have said only the advantage advantages only merits of those of the QPSK but there are certain disadvantages as well for rectangular shaped data pulse the envelope of the QPSK signal is constant that is there is no AM or amplitude modulation on the signal even during the data transmission transition times when there is a 180 degree phase shift since the data switches values instantaneously right now the rectangular shaped data produces sin x by x square type of power spectrum for the QPSK signal that has large undesirable spectral side lobes. These undesirable side lobes can be eliminated if the data pulses are filtered to a pulse shape corresponding to a raised cosine uh, roll of filter type of uh, pulse. But this produces AM on the resulting QPSK signal. Because the filtered data waveform cannot change instantaneously from one peak to another when 180 degree phase transition occur. That means if I want to reduce the side lobes, we have to change the basic pulse shape. And once we change the pulse shape from rectangular to any other shape, then when 180 degree phase shift occurs, then there will be some AM over the phase, uh, phase modulation. And due to this AM, low efficiency linear, linear amplifier means uh, class A or class B type of amplifiers instead of high efficiency nonlinear amplifiers are required for amplifying the QPSK signal without distortion. So that is the biggest problem because uh, high efficiency uh, Q, uh, amplifiers amplifier means the losses as loss associated with the uh, class C amplifier is very small so almost all the power will go to the uh, signal part but if we use class A or class B type of amplifier then most of the power will be lost as heat and uh, in some special uh, cases where the power is a constraint under such cases, the use of class A and class B amplifiers are not desirable. So we have to use class C amplifier. But because of this peculiar problem of this AM over this QPSK, we have to use low efficiency linear amplifiers. So that is the basic problem with the QPSK signal. Now. There are certain solution of this uh, of this uh, problem. So instead of using the conventional QPSK, what we can do, we can use we can use offset QPSK, or there is another way, pi by four QPSK. This is also called OQPSK. And this one is called the pi by 4 QPSK. In offset OQPSK, this m equal to 4, it is a m equal to 4 PSK, in which the allowed data transition times for I and Q components are offset by half offset by half symbol, half symbol means one bit time. Uh, this offset provides an advantage when 
non rectangular or filtered data pulses are used uh, the because the offset uh, greatly reduces this am on uh, oqpsk signal compared with the am on the corresponding qpsk signal that means if we can produce this half symbol time uh, delay between the i and q components then the am over this phase modulation will be reduced but why the aim will be reduced because the maximum phase transition maximum phase transition for offset qpsk is 90 degree instead of 180 degree in qpsk maximum phase shift is 180 degree whereas for oqpsk the maximum phase transition is only 90 degree because 180 to h to get the 180 degree phase shift we need to change the phase 90 degree by i channel another 90 degree by q channel but here we have some offset of half symbol rate so at a time maximum 90 degree phase shift can be can take place uh, can occur but 100 degree phase shift uh, will not uh, occur actually since i and q channel cannot change simultaneously so this is one way of reduce this am Uh, over this phase shifting by using offset producing an offset or there is another way that is called the pi by 4 qpsk here this qpsk signal is generated by alternating alternating uh, alternating between two qpsk constellations that are rotated by Uh, 45 degree or pi by 4 so we must have two constellations like or signal space so we have two signal spaces first one is say this one this is a shy one shy two two basis signals so this one is the first constellation is this and the second constellation is offset or shifted rather by 45 degree this one is pi by 4 that means the first symbol will use this constellation and second symbol we have to use this constellation and again for the third symbol we have to come back to the first constellation so in this way it will alternately switch between two uh, constellations so what happens uh, say given a point 1 Uh, of the uh, signal constellation that corresponds to two bits of input data two new bits are read to determine the next point that is selected from the other constellation that is the two new input bits cause a phase shift of either plus minus 45 degree or plus minus 135 degree so suppose we have say just for an example say this one is 0 0 and say this one is say 01 that means this one is for 00 and this one will be for 01 for this constellation now first it will take suppose the first uh, bit was uh, die bit was 00 so it has zero phase next next bit is 01 but this 01 will be taken from this constellation that means for 01 the phase will be 
this one 135 degree or if the next bit is also 0 0 next die bit is also 0 0 0 then what will happen in first constellation it was 0 degree but for next die bit 0 0 we have to use this constellation which is rotated by pi by 4 that means 45 degree so for each die bit for each die bit the phase will change by either plus minus 45 degree or plus minus 135 degree but there will be no phase shift of 180 degree because we are alternately switching between these two constellations so at the receiver the data on pi by 4 tpsk can be detected uh, by using an fm detector followed by a uh, resetable uh, integrator that integrates over a symbol uh, of two bit periods the fm detector produces a uh, produces the uh, derivative of the phase and the integrator evaluates the phase shift that occur over the symbol interval the result is one of the four possible uh, phase shift of uh, plus minus 45 degree and uh, plus minus 135 degree. So if, just for example, the detected phase shift at the integrator output is say minus 45 degree, the corresponding detected data are say, just for an example, say 1 0. Now IQ processing can also be used. Uh, for uh, pi by 4 uh, QPSK detection, the bit error performance of uh, pi by 4 QPSK synchronous detector is same as that of the uh, QPSK, so there will be no change in as per noise immunity is uh, considered. For non rectangular data pulses, the aim on pi by 4 QPSK is less than that on QPSK since the maximum phase shift for this scheme is this one plus minus 135 degree instead of 180 degree though compared to OQPSK where the maximum transition is 90 degree so compared to OQPSK its performance is inferior so but uh, pi by 4 QPSK is easy to detect uh, compared to this OQPSK and uh, has been adopted for use of using uh, TDMA cellular uh, telephony system. So that's all for QPSK. <laughs>